Hi Virgo, welcome to your weekly forecast. Now this is for March 10th until 16th. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Okay, here we go. Looks like you're waiting for something. Huh. There will be an ending with an earth, oh, sorry, with a f water sign. But I feel like even if the two of you will get back together, you'll still be lying to yourself about how you really feel about this person. Anyway, Virgo, you are thinking about moving. There will be some changes into your home environment. Either you're going to be relocating, buying a house, or investing in new property. And I feel like you are waiting to, to surprise your family about this. You will be feeling so proud that... Um, you are finally and uh, you know slowly achieving your dreams and your goals and this is what you have been targeting this year you know to slowly fulfill most of the plans that you have been you know that you got delayed last year because of some of the economic or some of the financial status that you have gone through an ear sign that will be acting a little bit uh, nasty aggressive rude cruel and um what do you call this like uh, invasive okay towards your way this uh when it comes to your work i feel like this is more likely an authority figure could be your boss and uh they will be it's like they're gonna be driving a little bit crazy this week and uh there will be a lot of you know um unrealistic expectations let's say for example that they want you to lo to work longer hours or they want you to come early at work you know even though let's say for example that your work starts at nine and they want you to start working at seven or eight and it, of course those excess hours are not uh, you know are not paid or it's not um it's not going to be compensated so you feel like now like why should i you know now i feel like this ear sign person have some personal issues towards you that's why they're going to be acting a little bit antsy okay towards you around this week you just need to be a little bit more careful and uh, try to distance yourself away from this because you're not going to be reporting directly to them. Yeah, there's still someone else who will be mediating the two of you. So I feel like that person is the one who can protect you and shield you from the cruelty of this air sign who is going through a lot of bitterness in their life right now. And it just so happens that they're going to be putting out their anger or their, you know, or their uh, grudges on you this week. Uh, just this week. And then let's take a look next week if it's still going to be the same. Now, huh, and another air sign. It seems like there is an air sign woman who promised you money, or there's like a like a lump sum of money that you're expecting from this woman or from this person, and it seems like it's not going to happen this week. So it's another failed uh, promise or it's it's another failed expectation because i feel like you need this money to either move make a down payment or buy a new furniture okay and aside from that you are feeling a little bit you know like all over the place you want you want to make a brand new beginning but somehow there's always somebody that comes your way to you know to block you into making your your dreams happen or to making your you know your uh, your targets and your goals happen especially that you will be ending things or there will be some some ugly breakup with a with a water sign and um i feel like this person will act like they're you know they're moving on or they're just gonna fly their way 
and there will be a change of situation and you will start thinking or feeling a little bit conscientious that you have pushed them too far because of your fears and because of your own issues that you're not really ready the thing here is you're not really telling the truth about this water sign because they are expecting to have something real and something steady with you whereas you you still want to keep your options open because you're not yet sure about this person and you are just hurting this person because they they thought that you're really in love or they're so, you're so into them or like everything is real right after the sex and stuff like that but for you it's like oh, come on we're just you know we're just starting and uh, we're just getting to know each other and you feel like we're already getting married tomorrow so with this kind of thinking this water sign feels like you broke their heart and they're you know they're just going to take off and they're they're just going to say that, okay, I'm going to move on with my life. I don't want to deal with your uncertainties. And if you can't really make up your mind whether you want to be with me or not, or whether you're going to be in a relationship or not, or whether you want to be in a committed relationship. So, you know, I can't really stay this way or I can't really hang around while you're trying to figure yourself out or, you know, who do you really want to be with? The thing here is you still have some hang ups with some fire sign in the past and you are you know you're still holding on to that hope that someday the two of you could still recon uh, reconcile or still be get reconnected but you know unconsciously you are hurting another soul because of this indecisions and know that whatever that's all in the past you have to put it all behind you okay now I feel like this part of you masking your feelings or masking your intention towards this water sign, there will still be some reconciliation that's going to happen. And out of guilt, you will try to be with this person and, uh, you know, it, well, in fact, this person makes you happy. It's just that you feel like something is wrong with them, that they just want to hold you down too much or they, they want to possess you, okay, right away. And this is something that you you don't really want to, ha to to happen or to have, being in a possessed or being in a like a controlling situation or relationship or being with a controlling person, and you want to start a new beginning, you know, with much happiness and freedom, and not really being overshadowed by someone else's energy because you still want to be who you really are. And you just need to explain to this person that, you know, this is what I want. This is how far you can go. This is how far you can, you know, dr um, like uh, cross the line. Or this is how far you can only control me. Okay. Which is clearly there shouldn't be any control or there shouldn't be any proprietary, sorry, propriety in a, in a relationship. And, you know, it, it should, the two of you should work as a team and like what you really want that you're just starting a little, that you just start starting or you're just trying to pick up yourselves from, you know, from the uh, um, pieces of the past. And uh, it's just that you're not ready for something serious. This person makes you happy and there's something about that per this person that makes you feel at home. But them being so jealous and being invasive and being too you know like um like uh trying to dip their finger into your personal businesses the exes the families and everything else it's something that you feel like you know um it's not yet time for me to uh give away my privacy especially if you especially if you feel like you're just new in a relationship okay so just try to explain your side from this person and I feel like eh, you're going to have a hard time making them understand. But then eventually, if, you're, if you really want to make this work, it will work out eventually or it will be in your favor. Okay. And. <laughs> well, unfortunately, while you're trying to work things out with this water sign, a fire sign will be getting in touch with you within the next two weeks. Or 10 days it's time for you to make up your mind is it the fire or the water before this to either drown you or burn you all right well you know it's actually a good thing to mix fire with earth because if the two of you will be mixing and you can tolerate each other's craziness and uh, differences then the two of you will be making a gem okay but if the water will drown the earth well, water actually nurtures the earth, but if it's too much, there will be an erosion, all right? 
So, anyway, that's it for you for this week, Virgo. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live with the calls, just go and visit me on my website at svangel.net. Blessings to you.